It's game week three in the High Five Futsal League, and this might have been our most intense game ever. We're up against Gaud Kalinga, another community-based team. Our goals are similar, use sport to mentor our young people on and off the pitch to break the cycle of poverty. But today we clash. Last season, GK beat us in the semi-finals. This time, who's gonna come out on top? And will the losers have to do a TikTok dance because of it? And the game will kick off. We've got Charlene, we've got Ago, we've got Kim and Berna, and in goal, Joanna from Montalban, MLFU. Uh, to, to kick up our game, it's a decent starting fight for us and return of Agot for our game. Nice bit of skill to beat her player. Uh, she's going to drive forward. If you saw last week, our game against Delos Alipo was abandoned. Agot did play in that, but it doesn't count because it was abandoned before half time. GK, very good team. Good shot from distance. Um, GK are a super fast, super quick team. They're going to win the ball and drive up quickly. Good one too. There, the shot goes wide, uh, fortunately for us. Kick in for Gawit Kalinga. So Gawit Kalinga have communities across the Philippines. Interception from Agot though. She's going to drive forward. Cuts inside on a left foot. And scores. Very good shot from Agot on a left. Sold the dummy. You can see here from the live stream from High Five Women's Futsal League. So check them out on Facebook for the live stream of the games. Hard shot into the bottom corner. Good goal for us. And it's an early one. That's Agot's first goal of the season. Very early on in the game. This game... Oh my goodness, so much, it's so intense throughout. It's a good uh, interception from AJ. Oh, I got pass, it's just behind Char. If it's just in front, we can get there. Bernalin uh, keeps fighting to get the ball. Shot goes wide, but Berner on the right there, number seven, she's really improved. She's uh, been fighting so hard to, to get better. She's so much better on the ball, her energy, but there's a bad foul from GK. Uh, I got taken down on a free kick. 1-2 taken short, it's across here to Berna, and that's not going to trouble the goalkeeper. Ivy, GK's GK, uh, from, some of them come from very different communities as well in Gawakiling, and they've got lots of different communities throughout the Philippines, but at the second post, completely free, our defenders bunched up together, they did not follow the player, they didn't spot the danger, uh, GK have bought a free kick there, and it's going to be taken, blocked by AJ, uh, and the score's gonna stay 1-0. I was saying, yeah, GK have so many different communities throughout. It's a housing project, and then they try and do some social work through, things like this. Bit of skill from Argot. It's a foul, but we've got 3v1! But look, it's 3v1! Oh, we had the advantage. It's a shame that wasn't played. Three on one usually means a goal. Agot's gonna drive forward. She's got Ronalyn delays a bit too much for the pass. Ronalyn was keeping up well there for the, the second post pass. That's a good ball from Brendel. She's from Tatalan, I believe. Uh, a national team player. So she's a really strong anchor. Uh, holds that defense together. Uh, and now at UP varsity team. So good luck to her. Here's Char driving forward. She had the pass as well. The slip from the defender, but we don't capitalize. There'll be a kick in here. Azel on the court. One, two between Azel and Hendra. Nice touch from Char round the corner. Azel's trying to get there. Two players at the, the second post. If the ball's cut there, that would have been good. Berna from way out. Too far! God! That's a, that's a bit of a shame. But it was a bit too far out there. Cha is going to try and cut inside. Hendrik gathers a loose ball. Push from behind. And shoved again. Ah, that's dangerous. That's not good at all. Um, and yeah, deserving of a yellow card. Uh, push from behind. Berna finds Kim on the free kick. Back to Berna. She takes a shot. But that's going to go over. 1-2 on the corner. Uh, this is... Nothing happened from the goal clearance, so this is a future corner. Uh, decent attempt, but not strong enough chance to, to get something from it. Agot's going to jump up in the air. That's not pretty at all. Uh, nothing's called, so the referees are going to take it there. No foul was called, uh, so they're going to take it there for that. Agot on a left foot again. Hendra was there at the second post. Maybe she should have passed this time, because um, she was quite far wide. Kim battling away as well. Good tackle from her. Intense match throughout. Agot, Scott Hendra, overload, back to Agot, and they clean that up. Nice one, well played from them. They take advantage. This is what happens when you get the 2-1, three versus one overload. We get to see on the replay there, very well executed from Hendra and Agot, two of our senior players. Hendra is from uh, Benguet. She's uh, part of our Team Philippines Street Child World Cup team in Russia 2018. So she's graduated from RTU, well done to her. Uh, inside now, Kim. Plays it out to Berna. 
touch inside, a bit wide. But I think the goalkeeper was sighted. Excellent goal from Berna. She's taken that shot. I think there you see that the goalkeeper couldn't quite see, but that was pretty much top bins from Werner. So I think that's her first goal of the league. Nice one from her, she's really been improving. Arlene takes a long shot. She's goalkeeper before, but wants to play outfield more. Um, so it's, she's got a decent shot on her. Tips round, not sure if it was going in, but Ivy made sure in goal. Vennell's gonna burst forward. Good pass from her, the in on goal, one on one. Joanna stood up well. She's made a couple of good saves already in this game. 3-0, oh, not quite on the line. Bernard tries to play the kick in. Uh, this was chronological, this happened straight after, one after the other. Over the line, over the line. Uh, and the referees are, are, are calling those. Um, Azel trying to get the ball down the line, doesn't work. Agot and Vrendel, good physical battle between the two of them. This time Vrendel wins out, that was fair from both. Vrendel trying to find the second post, not a good clearance from Azel. Balls bounce down to Vrendel. Ooh, great chance for her. Uh, maybe should have. <laughs> I got, I got trying the rainbow flick. She then tries the the behind uh, nutmeg as well, but doesn't come off. Our kick in, so it's still our ball. AJ finds Cha. She's looking for Azel at the second post. The two of them come in, and GK have the ball. Can they counter attack? They're gonna play it back. Cha trying to intercept the ball high up there. Good play from GK. They've got two on one at the back here. Vrendel draws AJ out wide. Comes inside and it's a loose first touch. Joanna's out to clear the ball. And again, another good chance for GK. They're giving us warnings. Uh, they're telling us where they're here for, but that's a great long ball to Agot. She's put the keeper down. Ooh, that's such a nice finish. Loves the keeper, just flicks it over her. Uh, gives us a 4-0 lead. That's uh, excellent, obviously, lead to have uh, in, in any game. And Ronaldin's come in. If she gets that pass right, I got probably has a hat trick right there. Um, AJ down the line. Ronaldin. And she's finished that off as well. Excellent from Ronaldin. She took, I thought she took it a bit too wide, but that's a very, very good finish. She did graduate, um, well, she got into college on a varsity scholarship after all, building up her fitness again. That's nice interception and one, two as well. If she plays that a bit earlier, maybe Agot's got the chance, but that's her first goal this season for the high five futsal league. Very good. Agot being pushed back, shoved by both hands there. AJ looking for support into Agot. Oh, and GK players coming very late there and for some reason stands over her. That's unnecessary. That's really unnecessary. Well, that felt unnecessary. And we'll kick off the second half. It's a 5-0, it's a commanding lead. And to be fair, you've got to say, we were a bit maybe fortunate to come into this at 5-0. We've got a 2v1, nice. excellent last ditch tackle. Stops that being a goal, really. It's a, it's a very good uh, block. And yeah, you've got to say, that probably would have killed the game. GK flashes the ball across wide. Again, our defenders not quite marking the right people. We struggled throughout the game because GK really put pressure. They wanted to get a high press going. They wanted to put pressure on us all of the time. Hendra's got a bit of a, a face, uh, an elbow to the face there. But that was a clean tackle. Mm, that, that's a real shame that they've called that one for a free kick because that was an excellent recovery tackle from Hendra. Ball's gone wide. Vrendel's not going to make use of the free kick, fortunately. Um, and the, the game will stay at 5-0. Good bit of skill from GK. They find player at the back, second post. Good ball across, that's an excellent pass. And the finish, because you had the Hendra there. She's kicked the ball away. And Nick's not happy, she's giving her a shove. And you can't do that. You can't give the player uh, a shove like that and risking yellow cards. Um, it doesn't matter about kicking the ball away because it's stopped time. If the ball's out, um, there's no time wasting because the, the clock's gone. But Agot's been pulled back. She's giving it back to her as well. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a such a physical game, such an intense game that, that this happened throughout. Agot trying to find inside. Burner gets shoved off the ball. Good tackle there. Maybe a bit of an obstruction. Um, but so the free kick's given. We've not reacted well. All four of our players in the other court. We've given them a one v one. Joanna stood up. Fortunately for us, they didn't take advantage of it. Now we have a 2v1. Agot tries to find chat at the second post. Good block from the GK defender again. We've had quite a few of these opportunities. Hendra comes back trying to find, trying to get back to her player. They're fighting again. Loose hand again. 
in her face, but that's, uh, no, that would have been a soft one. I got blocked. Chat, looking for support, looking for the easy pass. Vrenda's won the ball from her. She's gonna drive forward. And Bernard blocks her off there, and it's an another free kick. GK will take it. Short, played down across. Long ball comes forward, and that's an easy catch for Joanna. Good play by GK, finding the open man. Again, our, our wingers this time aren't on the right people. They need to be pushing up on the right person. I got very good interception. She's followed Rendell, two on one. And again, we can't get the right release for the pass. We need to get back and now it's two on one on the other side. End to end stuff, the pass comes in and it's a very good save from Joanna. Keeps it at five one, good for them. And from the corner, that was a good chance. It's been knocked over. Good play again, it's pass move all the way. I got this time uh, trips up the GK player, bit of good skill uh, to get away from that. And I got picks up a yellow card. Vrendel's gonna take a long shot, not held well this time, but nothing came in the corner. So it's still 5 1. Hazel's back on the pitch, bit of a shove on her, but Kim's intercepted. Bad pass, she's left us vulnerable. Ball comes out wide, played back, it's a shot. Good block from Kim, she's recovered well to, to get that block. Nice skill, but Mia's there on the recovery. And the shot is gathered in quite well from Joanna. Not enough pressure on the ball, we've left them 2v1. She turns inside. Ball's knocked away, but it's knocked into the path of the GK player. Uh, the, the winger that Cha had managed to knock the ball away, so she kicked at the air and fell over. That's why she'd gone to ground. Still too far. I hit my culture. <laughs> yeah, that one was too far. The clearance from Cha was straight to another GK player. So it's 5-2. GK really getting back into the game. Oh, that was a handball from Andeng, but the referee's not called it. She was on the floor, but it was a clear handball to, to get the, the ball away. The ball comes back, and we are on the break now. Cha trying to drive forward. It's a good pass into Agot. She's trying to get around the keeper. Slightly loose, but she'll cut inside here. Oh, that looked like a handball. No? Initially, this really looked like a handball for that. But we managed to find a live stream angle and gotta say, I'm not sure anymore. At first I was ready to roast the referees for that one. That looked so obvious. But now like from the live stream angle, you really saw that maybe it wasn't so obvious. So let me know in the comments, what do you think? And then really coming inside five meters, the referee tells her, how has she not had a yellow card by now? It's insane. She probably should have been sent off by this point. And later on, um, Agot's gonna press up for Brenda. This time Brendel skips by her, she's got the long shot on, comes outside, it's blocked, but GK are on the follow-up, 5-3. They get really getting back into this game, last dish defending, I love that diving from Ronald in there, real commitment from that, but GK get the goal. Good tackle from Berna, she's got to the ball in front of her player, I got drives down the line. And the shot from Berna is into the goalkeeper's hands, she launches the ball forward. And then scoops it up into the path of Joanna. She tries to calm things down. Finds Agot free on the wing. Nice bit of skill there. And she's gonna follow that well. Drives through the middle. She does have some support on the left wing, but Kim didn't get there in support. It's not a bad shot, why not, if the support isn't there. So it's still 5-3, seconds are ticking down. Not long left in the game now. As GK get another chance, well played from there. You can see the one, two touch football coming round. Good fight, she's got in front of Agot there. But we get the ball back, and again, excellent last tackle from Brendel. Again to deny that pass through to Char. She would have been in on goal. Berna tries, sorry, I got from the header uh, on the corner. She's gonna race back though. That's very good recovery runs, and that's what we need from our wingers. So we're not exposed. We need, so we need those recovery runs. Um, I think that was called by the referee because they, they knocked the ball while it was in the goalkeeper's hands. Uh, Brendel's gonna dive forward. Excellent tackle from Kim. She saved the goal there. Handball. No hands but maybe play on. Uh, I, got, <laughs> I got driving forward. There's been a few, a few handballs in, throughout the game uh, that have been missed maybe. But there's Rendell uh, playing the ball back. GK uh, again off a nice bit of scale. Berners caught out by that one. And that's a free kick to GK. From the free kick, ball comes in. It's blocked by Kim. And just gonna drive forward. Bit early to Agot maybe. 
uh, but tries to get the return ball. Well done by GK, intercept in front. Uh, tries to drive through to the middle. Good shooting opportunity. Ooh, that hit Kim. That could have gone anywhere. Um, and to be fair, I think the, the ref called the goal clearance, but that, that could have gone anywhere. Is Agar in the fight? Oh, that's a bad, bad tackle from behind. I don't know what Vendel's complaining about, because, yeah, Agot was completely wasted in that tackle. Uh, very much a yellow card from that one. Uh, scoop ball in. Almost on goal, cleared off the line. Uh, the header almost leaped into the goal there. That would have sealed the game, maybe. Uh, as Agot drives forward, the pass wasn't strong enough. GK defenders can come back. Now they're on the attack. Kim, she's beaten out by Vendel, but the timer goes. The time goes there. Oh, what an intense game this was from the side. Uh, you can see all the mainstays for, for Payatas. Uh, I gotta say, like, one of our players needs medical clearance before she comes back. If you remember Ash, our top scorer from last season. And we couldn't play, you see Ording on the camera there. Uh, 12 years old and Nat-Nat 11 years old on the bench. We couldn't put them in, it was too physical a game to be able to play them this time round. You gotta keep them safe, you gotta protect the players. Um, but what a game, kudos to GK for a massively intense game. Yeah, it gives us our first win of the league, so now we're standing at one win and one loss. If you like this and you wanna follow the girls' journey throughout the High Five Futsal League, then give us a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel so that you can show your support to Payatas FC and show your support to our girls. Thanks very much for watching. See you next week. Thank <laughs> you.